So as I said earlier on, a little bit of a, of an extra is to actually download and install Plex. Let's go back to that installation folder. Where did we do that? Let's see. And then let's install the Plex Media Server. Let's just stop this download because I don't actually want to download it again. Let's remove it. Okay. So I've executed on the Plex Media Server executable that we downloaded earlier on. Click install. And that's that. So let's launch it. So once it's launched, let's open up a new browser. And then just go to the location. Yeah, that's localhost port 32400 forward slash web forward slash index.html. So what have we done thus far? We've checked for the new episode. We've downloaded the NZB file. We've sent that to sub NZB D. That has downloaded the actual episode for us. The script processed the file. And now we want to add this to our Plex Media Library. So let's add a new section. Click on TV shows. Let's leave the name. Let's add the folder. It'll be D shows. Add a couple options there. You can leave everything default. And you click on save. So in the background, it has found the files. And it's going to connect to the internet and download some additional show information. As you can see it at the bottom, it's downloading the metadata for the show. And remember that with the Plex client, I use this uh, to watch TV shows and movies from, the, from my Xbox, from my iPhone, from the iPad, from the Plex Media Center. You can use XBMC. So it's a pretty powerful tool this. What you can also do is you can click on activity and this will show you exactly what the Plex Media Server is doing at the moment. And you can see the metadata. So let's leave this just for a few m seconds or minute or so. And let's come back. Okay, after about two minutes or so, we've got some metadata. So it has automatically downloaded the info for Game of, Game of Thrones. And here you can see it is season four. And if you, and if you want, you can click on edit, and choose a choose a different uh, poster, it gives you some information about the actual ep episode. You can via a web browser, you can actually watch the episode here as well. And let's just go back. Let's move on. And what's nice about that is if I stopped halfway whether it's watching on the media center or on my iPad, I can actually continue watching it from the egg from, from from the Xbox from the iPhone or from another machine. So that's a pretty cool feature. Let's go back and then let's have a look at what was the other show. And it has done the same for Revenge. And that's it for the Plex Media Server. It, really, it literally is that easy. And if you've got multiple servers, for example, I've got one on an, another laptop, you can click on that media server and you can connect to that. It also puts all of the media servers into one. So if you click on home, it will show you the different media centers and what content is on them. So if you click on movies, it will, it will show you what's, what's on them. It will show you their content. 
and you can search and you can search for items you can scan and navigate via the alphabet you can go manually um, there's a couple settings there force a refresh if it hasn't picked up the items immediately um, you can edit TV shows added additional folders and to just go back into settings deal with just the, def the defaults and you don't want to change too much it even has an option for to, to play the, the theme music when you enter a show and that's it let's go back here another cool thing is there's channels that you can add you can see Apple TV there etc etc let's go back so I've already added a couple channels let's go back home here and if you click on a channel let's say reddit you can search for some videos you can view a couple let's just view some others there Okay, and that is the Plex Media Center. Sorry, the Plex Media Server. So all you need to do now is install the Plex Media Center. Sorry, the Plex Home Theater. Let's just do that. Let's click on Next. Agree. Pretty straightforward as well. Click on Finish. And that's it. Okay, once it's installed, let's execute that. So I just click on start and go to Plex Media. So this will open up in a full screen. And it will automatically pick up the servers. Okay. So let's have a look. Okay, it's showing two TV shows there because as you can see here uh, the one is on the one server and the one this is the one that we just set up so here you can see Game of Thrones it gives you the information press enter <laughs> and and this is where you can resume as you saw I was watching this episode on the web and I can go and resume from the Plex home theater client. Voila. Okay. And that's that. I hope this has been informative for you. I hope that you came right 